gives me a great pleasure to be a part of Indian Public Sector Symposium organized by Tech Observer Magazine. I congratulate the organization, organizers for initiating a very important conversation on building resilient and secure digital ecosystem. As you know, that the intervention of technology by various organizations, including government, has changed the life of people. In the government, CBIC has always been the front run in driving the technology-led initiatives. As you must be aware that Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs is the apex body entrusted with the responsibility for administrating the tax laws and policy relating to customs, GST, central excise, and s service tax, as well as enforcement of narcotic-related laws. We have seen how even during the unprecedented nationwide lockdown due to the COVID pandemic, government organization used technology for business continuity plan and delivered services to its citizens. Let me share our experience as to how we have enabled work from home for our officers for, for providing the continuity of services to their stakeholders. In fact, sensing the worldwide COVID spread and its severity, we in fact has already started it's our business continuity preparedness few days before actual announcement of lockdown. A new work from home policy was drafted for keeping in view of such any such exigencies. The day lockdown was announced, as we are already having the policy framed, we immediately moved uh, hardened AIOs to the uh, residents of different IT staff supporting data center operation and various IT applications in order to support continuous availability of IT services. As the front end IT applications available to trade, whether it be importer, exporter, taxpayer, or other stakeholders were already available over internet, there was maintaining the continuity and access of these stakeholders was not a challenge. As CBIC deals with the critical data and critical and sensitive data of the taxpayer, prior to the COVID lockdown, access of backend application was only accessible to the officers over internet through office uh, hardened devices. Due to the unprecedented lockdown, it became imperative for us not only to revisit the policy by providing the remote access to our business applications to our officers, but also ensure that highest level of data security and privacy is not compromised. After marathon brainstorming session with my team over different alternative, we implemented containerized secure solutions to provide access of about 20,000 CBIC GST officers pan India through their private devices within four to five days post lockdown. I feel proud to share that such large scale implementation of remote access uh, to access business critical uh, applications by their officer within such a smaller time was in fact first among any government organization. CBIC digital journey in fact started uh, from the year 1980s and then we used a Sperry mapper system in 1986 in major custom house. First significant step forward for EDI based paperless work started in the year 1995 when Indian customs EDI systems ICS was launched at Delhi Air Cargo. Then in a phase manner, it was introduced at 35 customs uh, major port and airport by 2026, which in fact accounted for almost 85 to 90% of total import and export uh, volume. Uh, CBIC then launched also the risk-based management system in customs uh, around 2005 for risk-based scrutiny of import consignment, which were subsequently extended to export. With fine tuning of RMS, we have expedited clearance and subsequently reduced dwell time of import and export 
consignment. On the central excise side, a software package called Salmon was launched. The package was essentially designed to capture central excise revenue related information and develop a taxpayer database of registrant. In the year 2009, automation of central excise and service tax SS applications was launched. Uh, in fact, the IT in, uh, consolidation we have started in the year 2008 when centralized applications were hosted at CBIC data center. With the introduction of landmark indirect tax reform in the form of GST in the year 2017, though the front end GST IT applications was being managed by is being managed by the GSTN, the backend GST IT systems involving assessment, audit of taxpayer returns, enforcement, refund ETC are done by CBIC only. In uh, IceGate, in fact, is a front end interface for import and export stakeholders for e filing of import and export documents and tracking of their status. On introduction of e Sanchit, an electronic interface between taxpayer and custom department to submit import and export related supporting document hassle free and without any human intervention and other such measures. In fact, the CBIC has held uh, in a India ranking in ease of doing business in, in, in last few years. IT is being extensively used by the CBIC across uh, country, leading to greater facilitation of the taxpayer and bringing tangible benefit in the tax administration. We have always been in the forefront of leveraging technology for development in, uh, along with governance. We have been using artificial intelligence, machine learning to have advanced analytics in indirect tax administrations to generate better insight of taxpayer data received from different sources. Analytic tools help us in data mining, pattern recognition, network analysis, productive analysis, text mining, 360-degree entity profiling. These technologies are powering CBIC officers to solve traditional problem. Number of cases of fake invoices and fraudulent GST credits had been booked by India by the officer. In fact, we need to harness digital technology to benefit people at large and improve tax compliances as well as administration, tax administration efficiency. At the end, I would like to congratulate the organizers of this conference for hosting this important symposium focused on the role of technology for government organization. Thank you.